Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast of the Cast and Comets, playing host to the North Judson Blue Jays. I'm Blair Zimmerman, broadcasting by myself tonight because my normal co-hosts are actually predisposed. Uh, Gavin is up with Sam Duvall, who's at the semi-state wrestling competition this weekend. And we've got uh, Aubrey Degg, who is down in Kokomo for the Distinguished Young Women's Program. So uh, good luck to all of our cast and personnel who are off-site today. And happy Valentine's Day to you. I want to thank you for joining us this evening. And so we're hoping for a great evening of basketball. Want to wish congrat or not wish? Want to say congratulations to the uh, junior varsity North Judson Blue Jays who uh, just a few minutes ago pulled off a 12-point win over the JV Comets. So the varsity Comets are going to be looking to try to settle that score here tonight. John Harrell is forecasting a four-point North Judson victory, and we've we've seen the Comets do really well here in the past several weeks, uh, pulling out a win on those close call forecasts. So uh, good luck to both teams tonight. Hopefully everybody it goes off the court safely. And uh, yeah, just over five minutes on the clock. So uh, we're gonna take this opportunity to give some consideration to our sponsors here. Uh, and you have an opportunity at home to get yourself some snacks and something to drink. And we'll be back here in just a few minutes here for some uh, good old Indiana basketball on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, right. RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? 
Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver, letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford and Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as the mid-game uh, timer counts down, or between-game timer counts down. Uh, we are getting ready to have the national anthem, and uh, we'll get our starting lineups and get this game underway. North Judson, number 10, Cooper Hostetler. Number 20, Blaine Wilcox. Number 22, Trey Hampton. Number 24, Peyton Cox. And number 40, Cheyenne Allen. And of course, uh, former casting coach Kyle Evans is coaching the North Judson Blue Jays. And now for the comments, we've got number four, Luke Lau. We've got number 10, Cade Zider. At number 21, Joey Spin. Number 13, Hunter Shanelob. And number 33, Mike Rands. Comments are coached by Carl Davis. And uh, Comments having a very successful season this year. 
So uh, last year in this matchup, uh, North Judson pulled ahead with the win, 58 to 46. So uh, Comets do have a slightly better record this year, a slightly better record against uh, Common Foes. Uh, that said, North Judson obviously a bigger school and playing against the 2A level of competition. So it's not over until the fat lady sings. Hostetler and Chainlob in the center ring, ready for this tip off face off. And Comets will take the tip for first possession. All right, spin over on the right. Sends it to Shane Love in the right corner. Shane Love cross court pass to Luke Lau. Lau looking for an opportunity. These Blue Jays playing a very tight defense. Uh, that tight defense worked very well against the JV Comets. However, Hunter Shanlob getting that first point on the board. Ball in the hands of Trey Hampton. Passed into the corner to Peyton Wilcox. And a travel call. North Judson putting on a full court press. Traditionally, the Comets have struggled against full court press. They've done a lot better job of moving the ball this year. Rands misses one, gets his own put back. North Judson across the midcourt. Ball in the hands of Peyton Cox. Passes off to Cooper Hostetler. Great ball movement here by the Blue Jays. Crisp, fast passes. Long jumper off the mark. Comets with that rebound. And turning it back over. North Judson losing it on double dribble. <laughs> Ball in play. Once again, Blue Jays playing a full court man to man. Little push pass to Joey Spin. Spin back at the midcourt ring. Out to Zyder. Zyder for three. Swished it. Lau putting on a little bit of a press there. Getting back across the midcourt line. Hostetler facing off with Lau. Up at the volleyball line. Great defense so far by these Comets. Cox drives in towards the post, passes it back out to the three-point line. Double coverage out here on Hostetler. Uh, Has to dish it off. Zyder knocking the ball out of the hands of Wilcox. Blue Jays will maintain possession on this. Allen taking the inbound deep in the backcourt, passes off to Cox. Cox to Hostetler. Hostetler's gonna drive in towards the post. Fadeaway jumper off the mark and Comets with the rebound. Spin very quickly down on the other end. Passes it off to Zyder. Rattles in and out. Blue Jays with that rebound. Zyder quickly getting involved on that pass. Uh, Blue Jays managed to maintain control. Passed up to the volleyball line to Hostetler. Hostetler getting the ball stripped on that layup attempt. Ball swatted out of bounds. Blue Jays maintaining possession. Coming up on half of the first quarter gone. Blue Jays still scoreless. Deep inbound to Hostetler. Clear back at the Blue Jays volleyball line. 
Hostetler driving into the paint, loses control of the ball. Fast break by Rands gets swatted. I don't know if they're gonna say that he had transitioned to vertical yet or not. Foul was on number 22, Trey Hampton. His first, team first in that dubious honor of game first. Rands was in fact transitioned to vertical. He'll go to the line for two. First shot's up, just off the front of the rim. Now we've seen game after game all season long that's come down for one team or the other uh, to make some misses from the free throw line. Second shot rattles in and out, Blue Jays rebound. Wilcox up to Cox. Over to Hostetler. Hostetler dishes it back out to Hampton. From the volleyball line, off the mark. Blue Jays maintaining control. Hostetler still unable to connect on that. Comets with the rebound. Shane Lobb off on the right. Dishes cross court to the left side to Lau. Back up to the center ring to spin. Lau at the volleyball line, back to spin in the center. Looking for help, sends it over to Zyder. Zyder back to spin. Great ball movement here. Dish down to the post to Shane Lobb, who puts it in for two. Cox cross midcourt at the volleyball line. 3.38 left in the first. Nine nothing, Comets lead right now. Shoemaker. Down to the post. And there's Blaine Wilcox putting in two, putting the Blue Jays on the board. Blue Jays once again, full court press. Spin up to mid court to Zyder. Zyder over to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb goes down to the post, back up to spin for three. Off the mark, Blue Jays rebound. Hostetler dishes it down underneath. And we got a foul here underneath. Blaine Wilcox had not gone up for the shot. Foul is on number 10, Cade Zider. His first, team first. And we have Jesse Rockwolf and Cam Klein coming in for the Comets. 3.04 left in the first. Comets nine, Blue Jays two. Looking for this inbound here. It's number 14, Tanner Gregg. Sends it in deep into the backcourt. Hostetler with the ball now. Hostetler across midcourt. Out to Hampton. Hampton there on the left. Dishes it back to Hostetler. Fakes a three. Can't get Klein to commit to it. Puts it up. Gets two. Spin back to Rands. Full court press again. Over to Klein. Klein across midcourt to Rockwolf. Rockwolf going down to the post. Up to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb lays it in for two more. Hostetler now across midcourt. On the left over to Shoemaker. Shoemaker up to Hampton. Hampton missing that layup. Comments with the rebound. Spin, in trouble, gets the ball swatted away. Rands manages to get a hold of it. He'll send it over to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb on the right, sends it back up to Rands at the volleyball line. Rockwolf down to the post, back up to Rands. Spin, driving baseline, sends it into the paint to Rands and good for two. Hostetler, cross midcourt. I'm gonna tell you guys, these Blue Jays look confused about what's happening here tonight. Hopefully the Comets can maintain this momentum. Hampton goes up for two, gets fouled by, I think it was Rockwolf on that block attempt. Was in fact Rockwolf, his first team second. Trey Hampton at the line for two. First shot, up and good. Uh, Peyton Cox back in for the Blue Jays. Luke Lau back in for the Comets. 
Hampton lining up a second shot. Up and good. And we have number 40, Cheyenne Allen, back in for the Blue Jays. Rock Wolf sends it in to Lau. Lau watching his back door there. Once again, these Blue Jays playing a very tight defense all down the court. Rock Wolf back to Lau. Lau across midcourt. Double coverage. In trouble. Sends it over to Cam Klein in the middle ring. Back to Lau. Blue Jays have dropped back inside the three-point line now. Lau at the volleyball line. Just over a minute left in the first. Back up to the volleyball line to spin. Over to Klein. Comets are going to let a little bit of time run down. Klein for a long three just off the front of the rim. Blue Jays getting that rebound. Cross midcourt, 46 seconds left in the first. Hostetler behind the back, between the legs. Over to Allen. Allen getting it stripped away. Clean steal there by Luke Lau. Hunter Shane Laub up for two, doesn't fall the right way. Blue Jays with that rebound. Peyton Cox over to Hostetler. Hostetler for a long three off the mark. And by long three, I mean well behind the volleyball line. Down to Cam Klein. And uh, gets it swatted away. Clean, clean block there. Rands back in for the Comets. 17 seconds left in the first. Lau on the left. Looks for his play, 13 seconds now. There's 11. Comet's gonna get that last, or gonna try for the last shot of the first. Spin. Over to Rockwolf. Rockwolf for three. Got swatted right at the last minute. And at the end of one, we've got Comets 13, Blue Jays 6. We'll be back for second quarter action after these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide a little spending cash with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows you to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our local experienced lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the second quarter here, as you can see, Comets 13, Blue Jays 6. And I've got to say that for the first half of that quarter, it was 100% Comets basketball. Uh, Comets are able to keep up this shot percentage and this kind of pressure. Uh, Blue Jays are really going to have to amp it up if they want to come out with a victory. Blue Jays starting the second with possession here. Ball in to Peyton Cox. Cox cross midcourt. He's going to send it to the left to Craig. Craig back to Cox. Cox to the volleyball line. Spin coming out, extending that coverage a little bit with the nose guard. Into the corner to Shoemaker. Down to the post to Allen. Allen putting it in for two. Once again, heavy coverage here. Comets working it back and forth to get across midcourt. And we've got a foul up here on the floor. Foul's on number 24, Peyton Cox. That'll be his first, team second. And Shane Law back in for the Comets. And 22, Trey Hampton back in for the Blue Jays. Rands into the backcourt to spin. Spin across midcourt, over to Lau on the left. Back to spin at the volleyball line. To Klein, over on the right. Over to Lau, Lau fakes the three. Tries to send it inside, it bounces off a shoe. I'm kind of surprised that wasn't called a kick. Deep pass underneath, and bad pass at the other end. Give it back to the Comets. 
It was a good attempt at a quick play, just didn't have a pass receiver at the other end. Cade Zider back in for the comments. Rands and Lau talking a little bit of strategy. Lau looking for the inbound, sends it clear into the paint to Rands. Heavy coverage by Shoemaker. And bad pass by Lau. It's going to get the ball picked off. Shoemaker for three. Off the mark. Blue Jays getting that rebound. And Hostetler called for a charge on a make. That'll be his first, team third. Klein to Shane Lobb. To Rands in the paint, and the shot's good. Cox quick to the midline, and then uh, slows the pace down. Up to Allen. Over to Peyton Cox for the short jumper. It's good for two. Ball in to Cade Zider, back to Rands, back to Zider, back to Rands. Over to Lau on the left. And double coverage over there, bad pass to Shane Lobb, who wasn't looking for it. Hostetler. And have a foul here, I believe, on Luke Lau. Yes. It's his first team third. Comet still with the five point advantage. Blue Jays have really picked it up and made this quarter their game so far. And five second violation outside. We have number 20, Blaine Wilcox, coming back in for the Blue Jays. And number 21, Joey Spin, back in for the Comets. Both coaches doing a great job of keeping their uh, roster on the floor, rotated out and fresh. Ball into Joey Spin, back to Rands, back to Spin. Doing a really good job of drawing the defenders off of the ball handler. Shane I think, nearly passed that ball back to Rands while he was still in the backcourt. Spin of the volleyball line over to Lau on the right. Spin up at the top of the key, back to Lau. Couple of three-point fakes here. Good zone movement by the Blue Jays. Keeping the uh, Comets on the outside. And we've got a foul called out here. Fouls on number 33, Mike Foul Rands. 33, Mike His Rands. first, team first, fourth. Team fourth. Guys have to watch those kind of fouls because this is just not the game to be giving the ball away for either team. Hampton Cox outside to Shoemaker who drains it for three. Brings it into a one, uh, one basket game. Zyder's gonna answer with a three of his own. Rattles in and out. Blue Jays getting that, uh, getting the rebound and then traveling at the other end on the way to the basket. Rands looking for his inbound. He's going to get it into spin. Back to Rands again, moving the ball around a, a lot to get it across midcourt. Baseline to Zyder. Back to spin. Spin and double coverage. He'll give it to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb puts it up for two. And we're going to have another foul here on uh, Zyder. Foul on number 10, Kane Zyder, his second, team fifth. Rock Wolf going to spell Zyder here. Cox cross midcourt. He's going to send it over to Wilcox. 
Over to Hampton. Back to Cox. Long three. Off the mark. Blue Jays rebound. Hostetler looking for his move. Good ball movement. Schumacher for three. Rattles in and out. Rands with that rebound. Comments again struggling to get the ball across midcourt. Good ball movement. Shanlob in the paint. Doesn't go for it. He dishes it back out to spin. Spin back to Shanlob up at the volleyball line. Rands at the center ring. Spin going to send it over to Rands. They're keeping it back behind the volleyball line for right now. Over to Rockwolf on the right side. He's going to pass it to Spin up at the top of the key. Very nearly a backcourt violation there. Guys have to keep those passes clean. Uh, Rockwolf goes baseline. Bad pass gets picked off. Hostetler to the outside. Hampton over to Cox. Cox is going to drive in towards the paint. And he draws the foul off of Rands. Hampton will go to the line for two. Second. Or excuse seconds. me, Cox will go to the line for two. And that does put the comments up to six. Getting ready to uh, put the Blue Jays into bonus territory. And we have Sam Smith and Cam Klein in for the comments. Uh, number 40, Cheyenne Allen back in for the Jays. Second shot up and good. And that ties it up for the Blue Jays. Klein in the center, over to Spin. Spin in double coverage, in trouble. Klein, Klein to Shane Love. Back to Klein, back to Spin. Comet's slowing the pace down here in just a minute. Comments looking to set their play. I think that the uh, the comments aggressiveness off the tip caught the Jays by surprise, but um, Blue Jays have uh, really come back here in this second quarter. They knew what to expect out of the gate, and they've really just made the second quarter their own. Just under two minutes left in the half here. Comets keeping possession off that jump ball. And a bad inbound there. Leaves Hostetler ready to go coast to coast and take the Jays' first lead of the game here. Comets really have to make sure to not get frustrated here. Blue Jays fans not happy about not getting the charge down there. We do have a foul underneath. I think that's on Cheyenne Allen. Yeah, the foul is on Cheyenne Allen, his first. Team third, uh, fourth. And Wyatt Brummett in for the Comets. Ball into Shane Lobb. Bobbles the ball a little bit. Very nearly losing it. Brummett looking for the inbound. Sends it in deep to Spin. Spin getting fouled by Trey Hampton. And that'll be his second, team fifth. Ball into the backcourt to Spin. 123 left in the half. Over to Brummett. Back to spin. Defense! 
Comets looking for their play. Nothing open yet. Down to the baseline to Smith. Smith off the bottom of the basket. Or off the bottom of the rim, excuse me. I'll get this right one time. The bottom of the backboard. Jay's getting the rebound off that. Cox drawing the defense out. Over to Hostetler. 45 seconds left in the half. Hostetler across over to Wilcox. Wilcox to Cox. Twenty seconds now. And we have a timeout called by the Blue Jays, so we'll be back after this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car, get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 17 seconds left in the half. Blue Jays with a two-point advantage and the basketball. The second quarter here has been all Blue Jays basketball. Ball into Hostetler. Hands it back off to Cox. Cox will bring it across the midcourt. Ten seconds left in the half. Double coverage. We got open shooter on the side. And a travel called here. Comments will get the ball back with three and a half seconds left in the half. 33 Rands in for the Comets. Mike Rands back in for the Comets. Blue Jays going to be looking to put on some really stiff uh, press, I believe. Ball into Brummett. And that'll end the half. Comets 15. Jays with 17. I'll be back after these words from our sponsors for some halftime stats. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation. 
help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have some uh, unofficial halftime stats for you here. In the first half, Comets shooting only one for six from outside, shooting six for 11 inside the arc, and 0 for two at the line. Went into the locker room with six fouls. Uh, Mike Rands and Cade Zider each sitting on two right now. On the Blue Jays side of the board, also shooting one for six from outside, uh, shooting five for 11 inside, uh, but they have gone four for four from the line, which obviously gives them the two point advantage as they're in the locker room for the half. Uh, Blue Jays sitting on five fouls, Trey Hampton has two of those. Uh, turnovers wise, uh, both teams with 13. Uh, both relatively well balanced. Comets with six in the first and seven in the second. Blue Jays eight and five respectively. And uh, Blue Jays just absolutely shut down the Comets there in that second quarter, outscoring the Comets 11 to two. So um, Comets uh, cannot have any more quarters like that if they think that they want to walk away from this one with a victory. So five and a half minutes, round figures left in halftime. Go ahead and refill your beverages, refresh your snacks, and uh, be back here with us for some second half action in just over five minutes here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Do you have questions about Medicare supplement insurance? Let's sit down and talk. Here at First Federal Savings Bank, you'll meet with a licensed local agent to explore your different options. We can customize a plan that fits your needs and budget. Call me 574-223-1705 for a free consultation.
with Morgan Township taking on Fort Wayne Blackhawk Christian. The second game will be Pioneer and Oregon Davis. So if you don't have anything to do tomorrow, come on out and watch girls basketball here at Caston tomorrow in the 1A Regional. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half getting ready to get underway. Blue Jays will start with possession. And uh, once again, just on a hot streak in the second quarter. Hopefully, uh, Coach Davis was able to uh, get the guys rallied up and ready to take charge again here in the third. Peyton Cox will bring it across midcourt to start the second half. Into the corner on the... Right, and Hostetler, no good. Gets the ball swatted away, and we'll have a foul here, I believe, on Hunter Shanelob. Foul's on number 10, Cooper Hostetler. Oh, second. foul was on Hostetler, his second, team first in the half. Ball to Lau, back to Rands, to spin. Back to Rands, working the ball across midcourt. Good ball movement there. Zyder tries to dish it into the middle and uh, gets the ball picked off. Hostetler over to Cox. Head fake by Hampton. Spin doesn't buy it. Cox for two, off the mark. Comments with that rebound. Rands to spin. Spin went to drive. No good. Way was blocked. Over to Lau. And Lau travels with the ball. So far, uh, first minute in this half, we're just trading turnovers. Lau putting some pressure on the inbound. Falling back behind midcourt. Ball over to Hampton. Down to the post to Hostetler. Hostetler thinks about going up with it, doesn't. And Hampton for three. Lau's gonna drop back to Rands. Back to Lau. Lau to Shanla, ball nearly gets picked off. Into Rands. Shot off the mark and uh, Jay's getting that rebound. 
Another three-point attempt there by Hampton off the mark. And Hostetler going to make the bucket and uh, draw a foul off of Rands. Rands is third there with uh, not even two minutes gone in the third. Coach Dave is going to have uh, no alternative but to pull Rands, I think. Hostetler's and one attempt off the mark. Spin with the cross court lob over to Lau. And Comets are going to call a 30 second timeout. We'll be back after this word on, here on RTC TV4. There's no better time than now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage rates are still incredibly low, so now would be a great time to come in to talk to one of our loan experts. We are here to help you find the right type of loan to fit your needs. We've been proudly serving the mortgage needs of our communities since 1966, and you'll always deal with people you know at locally owned First Federal Savings Bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Davis taking advantage of that timeout to swap uh, Sam Smith in. Ball over spin, back to Lau. Comets really need to concentrate on good ball movement. And we have foul here. Foul on number 10, Cooper Hosteller, his third. Team second. Wonder if uh, Coach Evans is going to pull Hostetler here. Hostetler's been really instrumental with uh, some, a lot of the ball movement. Most of the plays have at least gone through him. Comets really have to get these passes under control, though. Lau for three, and it's good. Brings us back to a four-point game. Hostetler across midcourt. Over to Allen, back to Hostetler. Hostetler will drive in, sends it over to the left for three. Shots off the money there for Peyton Cox. Comments with that rebound. Wow to spin to get it across the midcourt line. Lau and spin, passing the ball back and forth a little bit, trying to make an opening to make a play. Uh, Shane Lobb drives baseline and shots off the mark. That'll be a Blue Jays rebound and Zyder, the hard foul there on Cheyenne Allen. And that'll be Zyder's third as well. Cam Klein coming in for the Comets. Couple of comments now, uh, really in foul trouble when you consider how early in the half it is. Deep inbound to Cooper Hostetler. He's going to pass off to Cox. Cox is going to pass it off to Wilcox, and the ball, the shot will get swatted away by Shane Love. Jays keep possession at their end. Rockwolf back in for the Comets. Deep inbound, clear into the backcourt to Cooper Hostetler. Comets are doing a really good job there covering up that inbound. Hostetler for three. Really smooth shot, very flat. I kind of counted on that one going off the back of the rim. Brings it back to a seven point game. And Cam Klein gonna travel with the ball there. Comets can ill afford mistakes like that.
Schumacher going back in for the Blue Jays. Cox to Wilcox, back to Cox, goes down to the post, shots off the mark, gets his own rebound, and they're gonna call a foul as it gets swatted away. Fouls on 22, Jesse Rock Wolf, his second, team fourth. Uh, team third, excuse me. Deep inbound to Wilcox, up at the top of the key. Wilcox in trouble now. Sends it up to Cox. Over to Allen. Allen back to Cox. Cox back to Allen. Back to Cox. Fakes a drive. Falls back. Baseline drive. For two there for Wilcox. Bringing this out to a nine point game. Rockwolf needs to get across midcourt. There it is to Lau. Two forty five left in the third, and Comets with only three points on the board this quarter. Underneath to Shane Lobb. And we've got a foul down here and foul on number 40, uh, Cheyenne uh, Allen. And uh, Luke Lau holding his collarbone. We've got Tanner Craig in for the Jays and number 20, Sam Smith in for the Comets. Gonna give uh, Lau a chance to rest whatever damage he took to his <laughs> collarbone or shoulder. Rockwolf in to spin. Spin fakes the three. Ball gets swatted away. And Blue Jays coming up with possession here. And Blue Jays will call a full timeout. We'll step away for these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. With 228 left in the third, Comets 18, Blue Jays 27. Blue Jays with possession right now. Hostiler back in for the Blue Jays. Hostetler to Cox. And Comets taking advantage of a bad pass to pick it off. Ball up to spin in the center ring. Spin faking a pass to Rockwolf, passes it off to Klein. Back to spin. Into the paint, down to the baseline to Klein. Klein getting stuffed. And we had a timeout called by the Comets. We'll be back after this word from Webb's Pharmacy here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. 
Just one call, and we'll take it from there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Davis there using a strategic timeout to prevent the ball from going jump. Spin looking for his inbound. Over to Klein. Klein fakes the three. Sends it to Zyder. Zyder back to Rands. Rands to spin. Comets really need to cut into this nine-point lead that the Jays have built up. And Shanelaw putting up two, breaking his scoring drought. Comets keeping pressure on the Jays. 130 left in the quarter. Ball over to Hampton. Hampton to Craig. Craig to Hostetler. Hostetler cross court pass to Hampton. And we got a foul here called, I believe, on number 11, Cam Klein. Foul is on Klein, his first, team fourth. Ball into Hostetler at the top of the key. Hostetler for three, off the mark, Rands with that rebound. Comments again, working hard to get the ball across midcourt. Snap three by Klein is uh, off the mark. Ball out of bounds off the Blue Jays. Comments keep possession here. Ball in Shane Love. Comets moving the ball around really well here. Into Rands. Rands passes it to Shanlob. He makes the basket and he'll go to the line for and one. Foul there was on number 20, Blaine Wilcox. His first, team third, uh, team fourth. Smith and Rock Wolf back in for the Comets. Shanlob at the line for one shot. Shots up, and Shane Lobb getting three the hard way. 44 seconds left in the quarter. Ball to Hostetler, Hostetler for three. Swishes it. Negating all the hard work that Shane Lobb just did. Ball across midcourt, Rock Wolf over to Spin. Spin dribbles into the paint, hard work there and tries the reverse layup. It is no good. Blue Jays will get that rebound and slow it down across the line. Into the corner, fakes the three, gets into trouble, and... Not sure if we had a timeout, a jump ball. What happened here? Looks like we have a 30 second timeout. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors on RTC TV4. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. All right, 5.3 seconds left here in the third. Blue Jays ball. Blue Jays with a seven point lead. Floating it into Hostetler. Hostetler in the paint. Spin sends it back out. We've got a three pointer at the buzzer. Three pointer at the buzzer by Pey uh, Peyton Cox. And so we will go into the fourth with uh, Comets 23, Blue Jays 33. Stay tuned, you're watching Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. 
Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we go into the fourth, Blue Jays now with a 10-point advantage. And once again, dominating that third quarter. Comets are going to have to have a, a quarter, honestly, even more dominant than they were in the first uh, if they want to come out of this ahead or even at least make the John Harrell spread. John Harrell once again forecasting a four-point Blue Jays victory. Comets need to clean up those passes for sure and just watch the watch the silly turnovers, the, the travels, and uh, just silly fouls. Comets starting the quarter with possession. Rands to spin. And right there, one of those bad passes I was just talking about. And we've got coast to coast off the mark there for number 20, Blaine Wilcox. Shane Lobb drawing the foul. Foul number 22, uh, Trey Hampton, Trey his Hampton. third, third team, team fifth. fifth. <laughs> Pass swatted away. Lau does get to it. Good ball movement now by the Comets. Shane Lobb for two from the paint. Two-man pressure now for the Comets. Wow out to nose guard Cox. Passed off to Allen. Back to Cox. Cox dribbles in towards the paint, picks it up, gets stuck. Out to Hostetler for three. Hostetler now putting six points on the board and... Uh, just a few minutes there hitting those threes. And another bad pass picked off there by the Blue Jays. Foul on number 10, Cade Zider, his fourth, team fifth. Klein in for the Comets. Jesse Rock Wolf, Rock Wolf in for the comments. North Judson now with the largest lead of the game, 11 points. Steal there for the comments. Spin over to Klein. Back spin. To Shane Lobb in the paint. Shane Lobb picks it up, shots off the mark. Blue Jays with that rebound. Hostetler. Cross midcourt at the volleyball line. Over to the left, back to Hostetler at the top of the key. Hostetler evidently losing a contact or something. We have Craig coming in for the Blue Jays. Ball in deep to Hostetler. Hostetler and, and Rockwell facing off. Over to Craig, back to Hostetler. Long three off the mark. And we have a foul on uh, number 20, Blaine Wilcox, his second. Team six. Spin across midcourt. Over Klein. 
Chris passes for the Comets. Spin drives in towards the paint, back out to Rands. Comets moving that ball around, looking for their play. Rockwolf loses it between his legs, manages to get it back, and then passes it off right into the Blue Jays' defense. Hostetler to Hampton. Back to Craig, to Cox, or Wilcox. Wilcox from the paint. He'll draw the foul. Rock Wolf, he'll, Wilcox will go to the line for two. That's Rock Wolf's third foul. Team sixth. Coach Davis just looking pretty frustrated with the way that this game has gone after the first. First shot up and good. Luke Lau back in for the Comets. Second shot up and good. So far tonight, Blue Jay is only missing one bonus point attempt. Fine, he'll go baseline back out to Shane Lobb and ball just taken right out of Hunter Shane Lobb's hands. Klein and Shane Lobb exchanging some words on the floor. That has to be frustrating. Peyton Cox back in for the Jays. Ball in to Hostetler. Spin keeping pressure on Cox. Good ball movement by the Blue Jays. Just four minutes left to play. Blue Jays sitting on a 13 point lead right now. Hostetler clear back at the half court line. Passes it off to Cox. And legitimately, all the Blue Jays have to do right now is just keep possession. Comet's keeping good pressure on, though. Hostetler trapped along the sideline. And the Blue Jays will call a timeout. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous. But with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Jays with possession. Ball into Cheyenne Allen. Pass was tipped very slightly by Matt, uh, Mike Rands, but uh, Blue Jays maintained possession there. Hand off to Hostetler. Three minutes left to play. Hostetler passing it over to Wilcox. And uh, Luke Lau going to pick up a foul there. Team seventh, so we will send Wilcox to the line for one and one. Kate Zider back in for the comments.
Shots up off the mark and Comets with that rebound. Rands dishes it down to the post to Shane Lobb. Goes out of bounds off of Blaine Wilcox. Comets will maintain possession under their own basket. 2.50 to play. Blue Jays 13 point advantage. Ball into Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb passing it into the elbow to Rands. Shots off the mark. Blue Jays rebound. Over to Hostetler. Spin facing off. Hostetler across midcourt. Dishing the ball off. Over to Wilcox. And Wilcox will travel. 14, Tanner Craig. Tanner Craig back in for the Blue Jays. 2.23 left to play. Klein, cross midcourt, over to Zyder, to Shane Lobb, to spin. Comets moving the ball really well, looking for their shot. Head fake by Klein. Two minutes to play. Rands for three, just a little too hard. Comets nearly getting that rebound, not quite though. Foul on number 33, Mike Rands, his fourth, teammate. Tanner Craig at the line for one and one. Shot up off the mark. Comments with that rebound. Spin will take a three. Off the mark, Comets rebound, and we've got a foul on the floor. Foul on number 14, Tanner Craig, his first. We've got Brummett and Smith back in for the Comets. Hampton back in for the Blue Jays. Shane Lobb at the line, 1-1. One one. Shots up, it's good. Second shot up, just a little too hard. Blue Jays with the rebound. 90 seconds left to play. And Spin's gonna go up and foul Cox. Foul's on 21, Joey Spin is first. That'll be Spin's first. Team number nine. Team ninth. 33 Rams, 10 Zyder. Rams, Zyder, and Klein back in for the comments. Peyton Cox in the line for 1 1. Shots up and good. Second shot good as well. Spin to the volleyball line. Into the corner to Zyder. Zyder dribbles baseline. Shots off the mark and got a foul. Fouls on number 10, Cade Zyder. That's his final foul. He'll sit down. Team 10, Luke Lau back in for the comments. 40, Cheyenne Allen at the line with two shots. Yeah. 
First shot in and out for Allen. And Blue Jays will call a timeout. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Cheyenne Allen at the line to take his second free throw. Blue Jays 40, Comets 46 in a game that has been all Blue Jays except for the first quarter. Allen making that second shot. Spin across midcourt. And Spin throwing a pass, it gets picked off. Klein will foul. And send number 24, Peyton Cox, Foul's to the line. Left hand line for his second. 24, Peyton Cox at the That's Klein's second. First shot off the front of the rim, just off the mark. And that Three, is Peyton Cox's first miss Rizzo. from the free throw line of the year. And five Carter C in for the Comets. Second shot up, and that one also off the mark. Russell across the line. Over to Passion. Passion nearly traveling with that. Back to Rudisel. Underneath to uh, Smith. Smith takes a shot, it's off the mark. Blue Jays get the rebound. Just over 30 seconds left to play. Smith out to nose guard Hostetler. Over to Wilcox. Back to Hostetler. 19 seconds now. And as the game winds down, the only thing that remains to be seen is if the Blue Jays put another point on the board. And we've got a foul here on number five. Carter C. That was on number five, Carter C. That's his first. Cross Adler's first shot is good. And Blue Jays with nearly complete line sub. Second shot up and good. <coughs> Excuse me. Rudisol brings it across the line with four seconds left. And there's Brummett with a free at the buzzer, which will uh, bring the final score to Blue Jays 43, Comets 29. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors with some post-game stats, and we'll have an interview with Coach Carl Davis. Stay tuned. This is Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide a little spending cash with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows you to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. 
Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our local experienced lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here, F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Unofficial post-game stats here. Uh, Comet shooting 3 for 11 from three-point territory. Only 9 for 22 inside the arc and only 2 for 5 from the line. End of the night with uh, 17 fouls total. Cade Zider did foul out. The Blue Jays shooting 6 for 15 outside. Only 6 for 18 inside. And then 11 for 17 from the free throw line. Uh, end of the night, 12 total fouls. Once again, final score for this evening still up on board. Blue Jays 43, Comets 29. And uh, really, Comets decisively won the first quarter, uh, 13 to 6. But after that, Blue Jays just taking control, uh, scoring 11 in the second to... The Comets 2, 16 to 8 in the third, and then 10 to 6 in the fourth. Also, uh, really uh, stayed very steady on their turnovers. Eight turnovers in the first, five in the second, six in the third, and five in the fourth. The Comets 6, 7, 7, and then 11 in the fourth. Uh, just really kind of. Uh, losing their focus there in the fourth 
and those turnovers were just able to be capitalized on frequently by the Blue Jays. So uh, waiting, we have a few more minutes uh, until Coach Davis gets up here. Just, uh, like I said, turned into really one-sided basketball. John and Harrell had predicted a four-point spread. Neither team, though, hitting the, hitting the estimated uh, point total by John Harrell. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Blue Jays were 10 points under what the projected score for the Comets were. So really speaks highly of both teams' defensive efforts here this evening. Um, looking forward to seeing uh, what Coach Davis has to bring to the discussion for us here tonight. And we will be back with him after a few more words from our sponsors. Stay tuned for our post-game interview with Coach Carl Davis here on RTC TV4. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Do you have questions about Medicare supplement insurance? Let's sit down and talk. Here at First Federal Savings Bank, you'll meet with a licensed local agent to explore your different options. We can customize a plan that fits your needs and budget. Call me 574-223-1705 for a free consultation. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Right, ladies and gentlemen, while we're still waiting on Coach Davis, I do want to take this opportunity to once again say good luck to cast and senior Sam Duvall as he uh, competes in the uh, wrestling semi-state tomorrow in Fort Wayne. And uh, good luck to cast and senior Aubrey Degg and my normal co-commentator, uh, as she competes in the Distinguished Young Women competition uh, down in Kokomo. Uh, Aubrey is competing for scholarship money, so obviously best of luck to her. 
Also want to wish good luck to all four of the Class 1A ladies basketball teams that will be coming to the uh, 1A regional that Caston is hosting tomorrow. You will be able to catch at least part of that coverage on RTC TV4 uh, because, of course, Pioneer is playing in that regional. Pioneer is game two, which I believe is set to tip off right around noon tomorrow. Uh, so you'll be able to catch that on rtctv4.com or any of the RTC TV4 apps, whichever way you are watching tonight's broadcast. You can catch that tomorrow. Um, and the Pioneer TV crew will be covering that. So we look forward to that and wish, once again, good luck and safe play to all of the teams and safe travels to the teams that are coming in uh, this evening or tomorrow morning. Coach Davis still wrapping up with the team. So we are going to uh, once again give promotional consideration to just a few more of our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. There's no better time than now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage rates are still incredibly low, so now would be a great time to come in to talk to one of our loan experts. We are here to help you find the right type of loan to fit your needs. We've been proudly serving the mortgage needs of our communities since 1966, and you'll always deal with people you know at locally owned First Federal Savings Bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth, or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wrapping up this evening here with Coach Davis. Once again, uh, for those of you at home, uh, final score tonight, North Judson 43, Casting Comets 29. Coach, after such a phenomenal first quarter, what happened there? Uh, I thought, you know, the first, qu first quarter did a really good job of executing. Uh, I thought we were, we were aggressive. Um, and we were on the attack offensively. And then, you know, I, I thought we had a, a stretch there where uh, we got a little passive. They did a good job of mixing some things up and making some adjustments defensively. And uh, I thought we, we, got, we got really tentative after that um, and stopped attacking a little bit. And then, you know, on the defensive end of the floor, I thought in the first half we, we did a pretty good job. Uh, you know, the second half I thought we had some, we had some mental lapses scouting report-wise and, and gave, uh, you know, really good shooters some open looks. So, um, you know, obviously we, we have to put 32 minutes together in, in terms of uh, our defensive focus on that end. And then offensively, 
you know, we're, we're a lot easier to guard if we're not aggressive. So we have to do a better job here moving forward of, uh, you know, keeping our foot on the throttle and making sure that we're being aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to say, at, in the opening minutes of this ball game, I looked at those North Judson players, and there was a look on their face like, this isn't the team we came here to play. And it was really a shock and awe tactic there from, from the opening tip-off. So it's uh, unfortunately that we couldn't keep that effort up. I will, though, give props to both teams' defense because neither team got anything close to what John Harrell had predicted, even for the low end of tonight's score range. So um, great work from the sideline. Uh, keeping the players rotated out, keeping them fresh. The guys are, are looking good this season. So uh, I know tonight didn't go the way we would have hoped, but uh, hopefully all the guys can keep their head in the game, and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. All right, appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming for being up, here. Coach. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for uh, joining us here this evening. Uh, we will be back next week, I believe it is, uh, with – our last, uh, I believe we've got one more boys home game of the season, and it'll be senior night. So look forward to those activities. Uh, once again, good luck to all of the teams around the state playing in tomorrow's girls regionals and uh, all the competitors that are in the various regionals and semi-states. So thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Blair Zimmerman, and this is Casting TV on RTC TV4. Yeah.